Hello, I am Phyllis Z. I'm president of the World Sleep Society. Welcome to World Sleep Day. Welcome to our celebration, which has been going on for this past week and culminating today on March the 17th. And as you can see across the world, there are many, many celebratory events uh, occurring. I want to give you a bit of an overview of the World Sleep Society, our mission is to advance sleep health worldwide. And it really fulfills a mission of through promoting education, research, and patient care throughout the world, particularly in areas that are underserved in across the world. We have several operating programs that I want to highlight. One is the World Sleep Congress, which will be occurring in Rio de Janeiro uh, in October of this year, so please attend. We also have programs with international sleep guidelines, the World Sleep Academy, which I will describe in a little bit later, and also our outreach to the public and to clinicians uh, will be the Healthier Sleep Magazine. And some of these articles are actually also translated into other languages. We also have World Sleep Day, which we are celebrating today. And this is really a highlight uh, every year and to celebrate sleep health across the world. We have a magazine, a, we have a journal, uh, Sleep Medicine, and also later I will highlight some of our programs such as the ISRTP and also our WSS exam assessing sleep medicine competency program. We have associate society members from across the world. We are indeed a global uh, world sleep society. Uh, regions in the Americas, uh, as you can see, Southeast Asian regions, large contingency here in the European region, as well as Western Pacific region, a little bit less uh, in the Eastern Mediterranean region, but these are also areas across the world where it's in the blue, and we don't have little stickers here, is where we really want to have our future impact in growing sleep medicine across the entire world. We have several programs that I think uh, I like to just highlight. One is the International Sleep Research Training Program. This is really a unique program where we can match a mentee to a mentor institution or to a mentor at these various mentoring sites, mentor sites. As you can see, uh, really across the world, many of those in Europe and also in the United States. This is to help junior um, faculty to train uh, in sleep medicine, but also in sleep medicine and circadian medicine research. The World Sleep Academy is a relatively new program, and it was created uh, by volunteers of the World Sleep uh, Society with a vision to, um, to, to, uh, to, to provide sleep medicine training and healthcare worldwide. And this is a web-based program to help individuals de develop basic sleep medicine diagnostics to foster networking connections throughout the World Sleep Society membership. And really at the end of the day, to take these clinicians to be able to provide sleep, health, sleep medicine care to their patients, regardless of whether they're neurologists, psychiatrists, or uh, pediatricians or internal medicine. There's also another uh, program which is progress at the High Heart Award that we were able to get. Um, and this was funded by Harmony Biosciences into ensuring equity in the international sleep medicine exam in inclusionary imperative. This allows us now to provide our sleep medicine exam online on an online platform to allow our trainees and those individuals who want to take the exam, who are eligible to take the exam, to be able to do that in a more flexible manner, but really our ability to reach and be more inclusionary of those individuals who may not be otherwise being able to take this exam. We have the sleep, um, the Healthier Sleep magazine, which is a bit of a public outreach. Uh, it goes to clinics, hospitals, and other 
uh, healthcare professionals. And this is a service that's six issues per week. And some of this, as I mentioned earlier, uh, some of these articles are being translated uh, into other languages by volunteers. What I also want to highlight is a um, new task force. It's called the Global Sleep Health Task Force that I chair as president. And as you can see, this is a star-studded um, a group of individuals who volunteer to be part of the task force. And the goal of the task force is to promote global sleep health. And this through education, through research, as well as through our ability to think about how can we uh, change policy? How can we make sleep health a health imperative in all countries across the globe? Why is this really apropos and important today? If you look at the publications in with the word sleep health and PubMed, you can see that this is not a really old idea. It's really a recent phenomena. And in, in, you can begin to see the number of publications using the word sleep health has really been growing only in the past decade. And why is that? course, we're beginning to realize through research and through science that sleep is a pillar of health and wellness. It affects every organ system of our body, including, of course, our brain. It's a risk for cardiovascular neurological disorders, including Alzheimer's disease. And we can, the list goes on and on. So it's the time is right and right for us to promote sleep health at a global uh, level. But there are challenges to that. There are gaps in, in knowledge, but also uh, many countries across the world don't have sleep health on their health, their national health agenda. So there is a urgent need to promote global sleep health. This task force is basically tasked with the, to, to bring together a program to educate, to promote global awareness of sleep health, to take action, to start this global effort of how do we measure sleep health and in a way that can be scalable across the world. And using this type of information, research and data to develop policy um, in health programs in various countries of the world. But, and really with the idea that this is sleep is health equity and it's, it's really a, uh, a cross-cutting uh, initiative. So I want to end by saying that the World Sleep Society priorities, one is to promote sleep health globally, which we're doing by education, research, and the training of clinicians. Increasing the pipeline of sleep medicine is very, very important across the globe, which is some of our programs like the ISRTP and also our World Sleep Academy. We want to work with organizations and stakeholders, whether local governments or in the private sector, to increase uh, awareness of sleep health, contribute to organizations such as the World Health Organization to help promote uh, sleep health across um, their, um, their programs, and finally, to support and inform the development of sleep health guidelines across the world. So don't forget, uh, World Sleep Congress is occurring October 20 to 25. It is in Rio de Janeiro. So please join us for uh, the World Sleep Congress in Rio. See you there. And if you uh, need, if you please connect with us and, uh, and hear some information both on uh, our websites and Facebook and also on Twitter.